Hello, and welcome to the Project Management Institute's Risk Management Professional Certification Preparatory Course, offered by Simply Learn. In this lesson, we will understand the processes carried out during the project risk management. Let us look into the objectives of this lesson in the next screen. After completing this lesson, you will be able to define project risk management, explain project management, Identify project risk management processes. In the next screen, let us begin with project risk management. Project risk management includes the processes of conducting risk management planning, identification, analysis, response planning, and controlling risk on a project. It has been mentioned in practice standard for project risk management that project risk management aims to identify and prioritize risks in advance of their occurrence and provide action-oriented information to project managers. Project risk management is an integral part of the project management. It provides an approach through which uncertainty can be understood, assessed, and managed within the projects. Effective project risk management is essential for the success of a project. Let us discuss the interdependencies between project risk management and project management in the following screen. When you say risk management is an integral part of project management, it means that they are dependent on each other. The output of many project management processes can be considered as an input for risk management and vice versa. For example, by getting the information about the project progress in terms of schedule, you realize that it is not in line with the expected progress, which can become a risk for the project. So, risk management plays an important role to decide what response must be given or what actions are to be taken. Similarly, based on the response of risk management, the project management plan with respect to the deliverable will change. As you already know, all the projects have uncertainty. Project management can be seen as an attempt to control this uncertain environment through the use of structured techniques like estimating, planning, cost control, activity allocation, earned value analysis, monitoring, and review meetings. Project risk management provides an approach by which uncertainty can be understood, assessed, and managed within projects. So. Effective project management is a critical success factor for project success. Let us continue this discussion on project risk management and project management in the next screen. The management or project manager should not look at project risk management as an optional activity or overhead. The interface between project risk management and other processes of project management must be cleared to address the uncertainty. The outputs of project risk management should be considered within the project management processes. They can impact various aspects like estimating resources, cost or duration, assessing the impact of scope changes, resource allocation and project progress reports to the stakeholders. The effectiveness of project management process is increased by using the information and results from project risk management. On the other hand, some of the outputs of other project management processes, such as work breakdown structure, WBS, estimation of schedule and cost, and assumptions are important prerequisites for project risk management. Let us first discuss how we can make risk management process effective in the next screen. You make risk management more successful, effective, or consistent by using processes, methodologies, or a set of activities. However, before using these processes, you should keep some points in mind. Risk management process should be scalable to meet different elements like available resources, methodology, and processes used, tools and techniques used supporting infrastructure, review and update frequency, and reporting requirements. 
It is important to have a clear understanding of the risk threshold that defines the views of key stakeholders on acceptable levels of risk. It is equally important to identify the framework to manage the risk, starting from the initiation stage to its successful implementation. Project risk management activities, resources, and attention should be appropriated to the project. Since different projects warrant different levels of risk management application, some of the actions required for tailoring are defining objectives against which risks will be identified, defining how the elements like resources, methodologies, tools, infrastructure, and communication are scalable for the project, and defining risk thresholds, tolerances, and the assessment of framework. The outputs should be documented, communicated, reviewed to ensure common understanding of the scope and objectives for the project risk management processes. In this screen, we will look into the high-level activities carried out in the six project risk management processes. The first process is plan risk management. In this process, you define the scope and objectives of the project risk management processes. The key output of this process is the project risk management plan. The second process is identify risks. In this process, you identify maximum possible known risks. You will be focusing on the tools and techniques used in the process of identifying risks. The key output is the risk register. The third process is perform qualitative risk analysis. This process is about prioritizing risks and ranking them as high, medium, and low for further action. The focus will be on tools used to prioritize risks. The fourth process is perform quantitative risk analysis. In this process, you evaluate the combined effect of risks on the overall project outcome. The risks are quantified numerically. The fifth process is plan risk responses. This process helps us determine appropriate response strategies and actions for each individual risk and for overall project risk and integrates them into overall project management plan. The sixth and last process is control risks. This process focuses on implementing risk response plans, tracking identified risks, monitoring residual risks, identifying new risks, and evaluating risk process effectiveness throughout the project. In the next screen, we will look into the flow of all these six processes and how it works logically. Here is a quick recap of what was covered in this lesson. Project risk management and project management provides an approach through which uncertainty can be understood, assessed, and managed within the projects. Risk management can be effective by using processes or methodologies or a set of activities. Project risk management has six processes. Plan risk management, identify risks, perform qualitative risk analysis, perform quantitative risk analysis, plan risk responses, and control risks. This concludes an introduction to project risk management processes. The next lesson covers plan risk management.